I'm Elwin Friedel, nicknamed Al. I'm a retired mechanical professional engineer. In 1972, I was working for the Yoder Company, designing large mechanical equipment for metal working, not metal cutting, metal working machinery, working on a drawing board. The slide rule was a significant and necessary tool at the time because there were many, many calculations that were too extensive to do longhand. And the slide rule was the quick way to come up with the answer. In 1972, I came uh, across an advertisement uh, by the Hewlett Packard Company for a digital calculator which uh, would supplement or eliminate the use of a slide rule for engineering calculations. Uh, it took uh, perhaps six weeks for the uh, devices to arrive for use. When uh, I received my calculator, I retired the slide rule and use the calculator exclusively for my calculations. Almost every day I would receive a request from someone who had done a calculation on the slide rule to verify the uh, validity of the calculation or dispute it. Uh, subsequent to the HP 35, which was the first model, I had purchased an HP 45 and just before retirement, I, I, I purchased an HP 41C, which is still in use as a, a calculation <laughs> instrument for my for what, what, whatever calculations I need to do at home. Yes, there have been other calculators over the 35 years. I'll be 92 this summer. I'm glad I found out about the new calculator in 1972, and I'm glad I'm around to say happy anniversary oh, HP 35. a sentimental journey, gonna set my heart at ease, gonna make a sentimental